Hi everybody. Have a few more uh, 20 vases in 30 days glaze results to share with you. Uh, the one in the foreground, probably the best piece of pottery I ever made. You know, for all those reasons, potters love a piece of pottery. It's well made. Uh, the thickness of the walls is thin and even from the bottom to the top. I did a little wax resist before I did any glazing and then uh, filled the inside with standard ceramic supply fog and then dipped it from the bottom up about two-thirds with fog and then put cream maybe a third of the way from the top down. So I have nothing but fog on the top uh, I mean cream on the top, a combo of cream over fog in the middle, and then fog all by itself on the bottom. I really, really like the way these colors worked together. And from the day I made this, I knew I was going to do something on the rim to accentuate the tall neck. Anyway, I'm just thrilled with this piece. I'd love to hear what you think. Also, this vase, which was one of my more favorite shapes, I did sea mist over chino and then put just a touch of cream on the rim and the cream just pulled the sea mist way, 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 way down and pulled it away from the rim it's got this great breaking in color. I'm happy with that one too. And then I did a third which is Mediterranean mist inside and out with a dip about a third of the way into cream and boy that was a risky dip because that cream pulled just about down to where I had dipped it in Mediterranean mist. Um, Mediterranean mist, cream, fog, sea mist, they're all standard ceramic supply company glazes. Whereas the Chino, which was the base for this face, I get from Carla at Carla's Clay in Sarasota, Florida. And then the last vase from this firing is this sort of abstract one that I did. And this is just uh, a, a dip in fog and then a second dip in fog about, oh, maybe two thirds of the way down. And uh, I don't know if this camera can capture the color, but it's almost a grayed a very grayed blue-green in its dark areas and then you get a couple of layers of it <coughs> and it <coughs> excuse me, becomes much lighter and breaks and um, I think it's one of my new favorite colors. Of course that changes with the wind. Anybody who follows me knows that. So really a great, great glaze to experiment with. I might sound a little funny because I had this nasty flu bug for the last week. It was very respiratory and I was coughing a lot. And so now I just have this changed voice. But I'm better now and I'll be back out in the pottery and maybe we'll glaze some more vases. Thanks for watching.